Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can go about launching a graphic console window using SSH and Xterm between two Linux or two Unix machines. The Xterm program is a terminal emulator for the X Windows system. It was originally developed in the mid 1980s to provide a compatible terminal for programs that cannot use the Windows system directly, such as Unix or Linux machines. For this demonstration, I will be using my Metasploitable 2 machine as my compromised target, and I have compromised it using the MSF admin account. So once I've compromised the remote target as either a high level or a low level user, I have to find the IP address. In this case, I've typed in ifconfig, and I found that the IP address on the remote target is 10.0.2.11. Let's go ahead and minimize our target. Now I'm back at my Kali terminal. So back at my Kali machine, I have a terminal up, and at the terminal, I have typed ssh, give it a space, dash, capital L. I'm creating a listener on port 4444, and I'm going to use the loopback address of my Kali machine. Give that a colon, followed by the port number that is going to be used by Xterm, which is 6000. Give it a space, dash capital X. Give it a space, followed by the name of the user I am currently logged on as over on the remote target. Now, I don't have to be using that account if I don't want to. If I know another account and that account has SSH, I can also log on as that user. But I'm currently logged on as MSF Admin. MSF Admin has root access. That's what I want when I throw this graphic console window back on over on my Kali machine. So I've typed in MSF Admin at, type in the IP address of the remote target, 10.0.2.11, give it a space, and I'm going to be connecting using Xterm. Let's go ahead and let's hit Enter. Now it wants the password for MSF Admin. I'm going to type in MSF Admin at the prompt. Now you won't be able to see this as you're typing it in. That's the default behavior of Linux. Hit Enter. And I now have that graphic console window between my Kali and my remote target. So here I can do anything that I can do physically on that remote target. So if I want to check the IP address, I can type in IP space ADDR, hit enter, and it comes up and it gives me the IP address of my remote machine. Any command that I can type remotely onto that machine, I can now do it locally from my Kali machine using this graphics console window. So I can type in who am I? It tells me I am currently MSF admin. I can type in ls to see what directories and files I have access to. I now have complete control of this machine as if I was sitting physically in front of it using this graphics window. Let's go ahead and close out our graphics window. That's going to kill my connection between my Kali machine and my remote target. In this next example, I have compromised the same machine, but not as a root user, as a normal user with low level privileges. So at my prompt, I've typed in the same command, but this time I've just typed in the name of that low-level user, which in this case happens to be user at that same IP address. Give it a space. Again, I'm going to be connecting using Xterm. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It comes up and it wants the password for user. On that Metasploitable 2 machine, the password for user is user, all lowercase. I'll type that in. Hit enter. And again, I have that graphics console window pop up, but this time I'm going to be logged on just as a low privilege user. I'm going to try to change over to the MSF admin account, see if it'll let me. So I'm going to type in sudo, give it a space, MSF admin, hit enter. Now it wants the password for user. I'll type in user, hit enter. And it says that I am not allowed to do so and that this incident will be reported. And so in this short video presentation, you got to see how easy it is to create a graphics console window between your target machine and your attack machine using SSH and Xterm as long as those two machines 
are running either Linux or Unix and they both have Xterm and SSH running on them. This information is testable so make sure you keep it in the back of your mind and in your bag of tricks when it comes test time. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.